Hello friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I'm going to shoot a fly-through video on a 2019 Grand Design RV reflection travel trailer. This is the 285 BHTS model. Um, bunk model, 35 feet, 7 inches in length. This is uh, Grand Design's uh, premier travel trailer. This is where they peak out at and they offer several different floor plans um, but this is just an extension of the reflection brand but in the travel trailer so all of the things that you get in the fifth wheel um, reflection you get in the travel trailer so one of the things that has really been done well on the on the reflection travel trailer is their winterization uh, their cold weather use type camping that you can do with this product if you want something in a travel trailer a little more robust we option in thermal paint insulated windows on this product so it is a full full body travel trailer this is not a lightweight travel trailer this is top of the line and there are a lot of things that Grand Design does with their travel trailer in reflection um, that a lot of other um, you know higher end type travel trailers do not do so we're going to jump into a lot of detail on this particular product and, and get started right here at the front end so as true to form for Grand Design we talk about this in all their videos their front caps this is a full full uh, profile front cap right from top all the way to bottom again Grand Design uses structure caps on their products so there's lots of edges and lines and ridges and all of those things to really help create that nice rigid front cap so that when that front cap gets mounted on the trailer um, it goes on square which is really really good and that's what you want the other thing that front steel aluminum cage that wraps around the front behind the cap um, you know on all of their on all of their travel trailers with front caps they do to tie in the walls the roof to the floor all of those things just to really create that rigid front end so that you know the front of the trailer it porpoises up and down bounces there's a lot of movement and vibration as you're towing it down the highway uh, going into your favorite camp spots the gravel roads the washboard all of those things and you want to have that rigid front end so that your trailer is 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 square and true to form for grand design their lamination all the way around ties into that that story perfectly so again this is a fully painted front cap they use an automotive paint on the front end so you don't have to necessarily worry about that cloudiness and discoloration that paint greatly reduces the chances of that happening um, also the graphic on the front end is a 3m graphic not just the front end but all the way around the trailer as well so um, five-year warranty it's a higher resolution graphic it's got a higher UV coating on the outside of it so they just have really spending the extra bucks on giving you the the best possible materials they can possibly put on uh, on their product so really nice tied in with that V LED strip lighting here on the front end uh, which is really nice uh, down low here you've got a power front jack 3500 pounds uh, which can move up and down that that trailer really nice it does have the adjustable foot on it which is kind of cool so that where that foot is there's a sleeve so depending on you know the slope of the camp space uh, you know you can definitely drop that leg down and adjust the height just to give you a little more stroke in that jack which is which is kind of a cool little touch uh, on the reflection travel trailers they do put on the 30 pound propane tanks on the reflection transcend or sorry the imagine and transcends they do the 20 pounders on the reflections they do go all the way to the 30 pounders just like the fifth wheels so a little heavier to move when they're filled but you do get that extra six you know that full 60 pounds of propane again this is a fully winterized trailer temperature tested to minus four uh, fahrenheit which is between minus 18 20 celsius and so to have that extra little bit of propane in those colder weather situations uh, can be a nice thing to have so but beautiful profile here on the front you do get the tray up up front here if you wanted to run one battery dual sixes that sort of thing we always recommend the six volt batteries here at our dealership so uh, you do have the solar fury and solar charge up front here as well so if you wanted to do the suitcase style solar panel it would just plug right in there you lay it out on the ground and it's going to charge your batteries up so again grand design uh, true to form with their with their pass-through storage compartments uh, they finish them off right all aluminum tubing up in the tops of their storage compartments in this particular model fully welded just like an imagine but thicker taller stronger more aluminum studs typically than a lot of your other manufacturers that they do uh, which is really really nice they do give you the tray storage here ABS tray storage so if you got some wet items or something that's you know possibility of spilling you could set it in here just to you know get it up off the main floor of your pass-through storage compartment but again this is the only travel trailer that they build again this is they're building it off of as an extension off of their fifth wheel line so you still get that nautilus 
P1 utility panel, which is fantastic. Same as the fifth wheels, uh, which is really good. You do get the water pump switch up here in the top. So if you're leaving the provincial campground, rather than running all the way inside the trailer and opening it up to turn on, on and off your water pump, you can do it right from the convenience of the storage compartment. You have the outside shower connection with quick connect, hot and cold tap. You have all of your coax cable connections for your satellite, um, all color coded. So dry camping, city water to winterize your tank um, or your, your trailer to do the siphon. If you're getting low on fresh water, 60 gallons of fresh water capacity with this trailer. Uh, but if you're getting low on water, you run out, you can backfill in into your fresh water tank using your water pump through this system as well um, and then of course you've got your black tank flush and whatnot so first class motion sensor lighting as well in the top of this compartment so that if you open up the baggage door then that you have it set to motion sense that light will automatically turn on and off uh, when you go to close it as well so again porthole access right here uh, to be able to run your fresh water line up inside so beautiful beautiful storage compartments ground designs doing it right it does open up it kind of swales back this way around um, <clears throat> so on the other side when we shoot that when we come around the entry side of the trailer we'll give you another shot there and just show you how big the storage compartment really is which is which is really good um, shooting up underneath the trailer on this particular model you got the um, electric stabilizer jacks front and back uh, but again, fully enclosed, heated underbelly. They insulate with that spray foam around any of the openings where your fresh water lines come out. Uh, you get that T-handle right there for your fresh water tank drain, uh, which is really nice. It's not a half inch water line with a cap. You got to get on your back and pull it out. Uh, you know, super easy. You just reach down with your hand and pull it and it'll drain that 60 water fresh or uh, 60 gallon fresh water capacity uh, real fast, which is good. But R30 in your floor. So it's fully insulated, duct heat true to form on the reflections each tank gets its own dedicated heat duct uh, and each tank is enveloped with a thermal blanket to really hold in that heat when that that furnace is running which is really nice so they're doing it right on this uh, on the reflection as well so I'll just give you another another shot got that rail tight system across the front uh, similar to the uh, solitude lines so really a, a really clean underbelly there um, we're going to shoot in on the weight badge here. Um, this particular travel trailer, again, is 35 feet, 7 inches in length. Uh, again, it's a heavier travel trailer, but dry weight is 7,984 pounds. You see it right there. Your GVWR rating is 9,495 pounds, which gives you a cargo carrying capacity of 1,451 pounds. So really good cargo carrying capacity. Again, average family of four is gonna take anywhere between 800 to 1,000 pounds worth of gear with them, and you get a little bit more of that uh, than that. So that's good to, to cover it all off. Your hitch weight is 793 pounds, uh, as stated by Grand Design. So again, the right half ton truck, wouldn't recommend going any heavier, um, but the right half ton truck can get it done with a proper weight distribution hitch. Three quarter ton, obviously uh, ideal, but uh, definitely beautiful, beautiful trailer for, for a half ton truck, the right truck, of course. So again, there's slide outs, we'll shoot in on that. Underneath their slide outs, very clean, very smooth. This is a rack and pinion slide out. So uh, proven system, tried true. They've been building the rack and pinion system for years and years and years. The manual override on it is probably the easiest in the industry. There's a drive nut that pokes through the frame rail on the entry side of the trailer that if your motor was to fail or you run out of battery power, what have you, you just put a, a crank handle on it, which comes with the trailer and you just manually crank in your slide out. So super, super easy. They do the cap edges on it so that you get some friction here. Sometimes that, you know, your floor isn't exposed. Some manufacturers use that Darko woven fabric and we've seen it where the slide outs retract in and out and over time, it'll expose, uh, wear a hole in that Darko and expose your floor just more susceptible to moisture intrusion and, and those types of things. Grand Designs go on the extra step by putting putting that cap edge on it, which is really nice. You do get the Dexter towing system on there on the reflection as well. Use Dexter on everything. So Dexter five year axle, five year warranty axles. You get the never adjust brakes, easy lube hubs, all the benefits that come along with that. And the Westlake Lions Head tire. Uh, that's a 15 inch tire, but does come with that five year warranty. 12 months, no questions asked replacement. If you have an issue within the first 12 months uh, that falls within the warranty guidelines, of course, they'll just replace it. No questions asked, which is, which is really cool. So uh, one of the things I like about this particular layout 
It's actually uh, uh, the 285 BHTS is uh, the travel trailer version of the 28 BH reflection fifth wheel. So you get all the benefits, unbelievable outside storage, but uh, on their slide outs, folks, they laminate their slide boxes. So that means not just the outer wall is laminated. That means the slide end walls are laminated. The roof is laminated as well. So it's fully insulated and um, laminated just like the sidewall is like Grand Design. They build their slide boxes square, which is really nice. You can stand, stand on the tops of their slide outs. Uh, they're that strong <coughs> and you get the uh, bulb seal here, double blade seal. So when that slide out is retracted, if there's some moisture on the outside of it, it'll squeegee all that moisture off and prevent it from coming inside. So uh, they're doing it right from that side of it. Hot water heater here on the uh, off door side as well. That's a six gallon tank Atwood style. So 17.8 gallon quick recovery per hour with gas and electric on at the same time. So really, really good recovery rate. If you're able to plug into shore power, 30 amp service, run the propane at the same time, you can have a decent shower and your gray capacity is 86 gallons. So you can actually have a nice five minute shower uh, in there without, you know, killing the water all the time like we have to in some of the RVs. So again, true to form for Grand Design, ladders on the backs of all of their travel trailers and fifth wheels. They want you to be able to access the roof to be able to uh, change a roof vent, to do some uh, sealant touch up if necessary, to be able to check your air conditioner, those types of things, they give you that ladder. More importantly as well is that they actually put the bracing in the sidewall that's laminated within that wall to support that ladder. So where those screws go in, it doesn't just go into fiberglass and foam, it goes into a sheet of steel, EGS they call it. And so when that, that ladder goes on, if you're a 250, 300 pound man, you can climb up and down that ladder and know that you have a walk on roof, uh, which is really good. There are products in the industry they don't put ladders on, not just because to save cost, but also they don't do walk on roofs. So just buyer beware, beware of those types of things. But one of the things that's really nice about this layout, similar to the 28 BH is you've got this massive trunk storage at the rear. So bunk model, you're packing a lot of gear, a lot more camping chairs, your barbecue, whatever. This is an unbelievable storage compartment. And this goes underneath the lower bunk in the back bunk room. It's two double over double beds in the rear bunk, uh, uh, bunk room. Uh, but massive, massive storage. They give you the 110 plug in here. There is a motion sensor light, which is really good. But again, we'll just shoot, you know, the aluminum tubing, super strong, fully bead welded together, very clean storage compartment. Another nice thing, grand design, thicker baggage doors. Okay, this is a heavy door. They also metal latch, it's not a plastic latch. And then they use the magnets. To, uh, to hold open that door. So very easy to access. The other thing that you get with this, with the travel trailers, because you can't B train or pull a flat deck with a quad or a fishing boat behind, they don't do the flat four wiring, but they do give you the receiver mount. So it's rated for 300 pounds. You can slide a bike rack in there, stack all the kids' bikes on, mom and dad's bikes, and uh, bring those along with you. If you have a larger SUV that is capable of pulling a trailer like this, you don't necessarily have a spot to put the bicycles. So this is a great thing to have uh, on the back of the trailer, which is, which is really cool. <clears throat> Again, we'll just show you the undershot of the trailer there. Spare tires at the back. Your, again, your electric scissor jack or uh, stabilizer jacks on this. Just push a button, those electric jacks come down, help stabilize the trailer. Uh, right to the left of the ladder here, you do get the spray port. So it does come with that coiled hose that hooks into your outside shower, right into your Nautilus system up front. But you also get the spray port here on the, uh, at the back of the trailer to uh, come alongside your outdoor kitchen, which we'll get to here shortly. And I just wanna zoom in on the pre-wire for the rear vision camera as well, which is really nice if you're, we recommend the observation system by Fury and that way you can see what's going on at the back of the trailer as you're driving down the road, enhanced stability mode, all of those things. Um, works fantastic. You can watch the bicycles if you've got a bike rack out back, just see what's going on. Gives you that nice fisheye effect so you can change lanes a little easier. You're not just looking through the mirrors on the truck. So really, really nice. All right, coming around to the entry side of the trailer. A couple things going on here. One, this is just one slide out. Um, no slide outs on the entry side of your trailer. So you have the biggest power awning you can possibly get. Um, A&E builds a 21 foot 
power awning, it's fully adjustable. Both arms you can drop down at the same time if you require more shade, or if it's sprinkling, drizzling, raining a little bit, you can actually drop either side individually to allow for the water to run off that, that, that awning fabric. And it's very, very simple to do. The nice thing with the a and &E awning is that the LED light strip that you get with it um, doesn't get covered up. It's still usable when uh, the awning is fully retracted, uh, which is kind of cool. And then you do get those blue lights in the outside speakers, which are attached to the same light as well. So just to touch on those outside speakers, they're not a recessed speaker. Some manufacturers get a great big hole saw. They cut a hole in the sidewall and they countersink the speaker into the wall. Grand design, one little hole for a wire uh, versus a great big hole for a speaker. Plus it's gonna be a little quieter inside the trailer because the speaker actually isn't inside the trailer. It's all insulated in behind that with block foam and all of those things just like the regular part of the sidewall. So really nice if you got little ones sleeping inside that sort of thing but you wanna play some music outside at night by the campfire, you've got a little quieter, quieter interior with those speakers running. So again, you do have the outdoor kitchen on this. What I love about this is that your awning does cover your outdoor kitchen so it's fully usable when it is raining which is nice you get the bar fridge at the back the fold up range top here uh, which has a barbecue quick connect underneath and then this just simply slides out of the way so you get a little bit of storage there 110 plug motion sensor lighting so you want to put a coffee pot back there a curry egg machine a margaritaville toaster if you're doing your bacon and eggs in the morning like to cook your breakfast outside you got that 110 plug there and again uh, metal latches on your baggage doors. It's a thicker door, it's heavier, it's fully insulated. Very, very solid. Let's give that a close for you and show you what that looks like. So really, really clean. Uh, they're doing it right. So coming down, your furnace is on the entry side of your trailer. That is a 35,000 BTU furnace, by the way. So same size furnace, they're using a great big momentum or solitude. Heats up the trailer exceptionally well. I just wanna show you that barbecue quick connect right there. Boom, plug in your portable fire pit. If there's a fire ban, your barbecue, that type of thing. There's your uh, Westlake Lions Head tire with Dexter uh, towing system, easy lube hubs, all of the stuff, alloy wheels, beautiful setup. And then you've got the uh, triple entry step, aluminum tread plate. That step folds up, up and down really, really easy. And the, the step itself in the aluminum, it's quite grippy. So if it's a little bit more wet on the outside, you know, less chance of your feet coming out from under you as you're climbing into the trailer um, if it's wet. So lend a hand grab handle as well. 285 BHTS Arctic insulation. So R values, you've got R40 in your roof, R40 down your front cap. This is a two inch wall, just like the regular reflection. So you go up to an R9 um, and then R30 in your floor, R R24 in your slide floor. So really, really industry leading R values paired with that 35,000 BTU furnace is really gonna keep that trailer nice and warm for you. Your furnace isn't gonna cycle on and off nearly as much. Uh, it just works really, really good. So again, here's that front storage compartment. As you can see, they kind of curve that back wall around uh, back over to that utility center there, but really large pass-through storage compartment. You can, again, see all the aluminum tubing there, battery disconnect switch, motion sensor lighting, extra cables if you wanted to hook up an outside television, 110 plug there and they give you the porthole access just right over here as well. So again, super clean, done really nice. So <clears throat> again, Clayton Phillips from Woody's RV in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We're just south of Edmonton, 15 minutes. So if you're from BC, Saskatchewan, Western Canada, we're getting some calls from people maybe wanting to tie in a holiday coming up from, you know, the Northwestern part of the United States take advantage of an RV, go on a great big tour of the Canadian Rockies. We'd love to be able to, uh, to help you out with that. Put a nice vacation package together for you. Do our best to accommodate you in that front. So, but back on the trailer here, we're gonna shoot down the entry side of your trailer. So one of the things about this product that I absolutely love, although it doesn't have a walk around island in the kitchen, one slide, you get tons and tons of counter space. And this is a solid surface countertop. Okay, it's not just a thermal foil, it's a solid surface is what you get in the higher end product. So, but Grand Design is going a little bit, a little bit further just to give you an idea. That countertop is super thick. Super thick, super strong. Uh, Grand Design does the uh, farm style sink. We absolutely love the farm style sink. 
Uh, if you want to hide a dinner plate and not do the dishes right away, it's nice and deep. It's wide. It'll hold a full dinner plate. You can put those covers back over top. If you want the dunk station, they kind of toyed with it a little bit, whether or not to go 50-50 or 60-40. They felt the big basin was best for and people that want to have that smaller, uh, smaller dunk basin, just get a Rubbermaid container, toss the water outside after you're done cleaning or doing whatever, and uh, you can do the soapy and the, and the dunk tank at the same time if necessary. Uh, but pull out fog it here as well which is kind of cool so metal fixtures versus plastic like some manufacturers are doing to save cost one of the things you'll find with grand design people that aren't as tall love their products because they drop their cabinetry down and they add a shelf which is really nice a lot of manufacturers they'll raise the cabinetry to save on material cost but they won't give you a shelf so as you start stacking all your gear inside here you get a lot of wasted space at the top of the cupboard. So Grand Design adds that shelf so you have much more usable space, which is really, really nice. All solid wood cabinet doors. They do that on all of their products. They're not using a paper wrap door like a lot of manufacturers do. All of your cabinetry is fully screwed together. So there's pocket screws here holding this together. It's a lumber core, solid wood cabinet with a veneer wrap. Uh, some manufacturers, if you reach them behind, you don't feel those pockets with those screws going down. That could be an indication that you've got stapled cabinetry or particle board cabinets, which over time, you know, the flexing and stressing as trailers go down the road, time takes takes over and you can start to develop squeaks and a little more movement in your in your in your product. But again, on the reflection side of things, you do get the convection microwave by Furion, which is really nice. Another thing I'll point out there's some screws like this uh, fascia here this screw right up in here that screw goes into the outside wall and similar to the ladder on the back grand design in the lamination of their trailers laminates in a sheet of steel for that screw to bite into okay makes it a little bit heavier but you have a much much stronger cabinet which is really really good it's not just going into a luon panel into foam uh, which is important. All of the windows on Grand Design products are fully framed in with an aluminum tube. So if you were to take that window out, which is, it's called a clamp ring window, those screws that you see around the base of the window don't actually screw into the sidewall. They go into the outer frame of the window. So what happens is, some manufacturers they don't frame in the openings of their windows so you get a lot more movement in those windows because as they cinch down there's it's biting down onto fiberglass and foam on this product you've got fiberglass an aluminum tube and then the window goes in and it clamps down onto something very solid so far less chance of you know window movement sealant getting spit out moisture intrusion it's just a far far superior product and that's the case for all of the windows in the grand design product so back on the kitchen here as i'm going along oven in range you get Furion style so you get the nice blue lights glass flip over top Furion has done a phenomenal job challenging the uh, appliance manufacturers in the rv industry to come out with new edgier designs uh, those types of things and they've just really done a great job coming to the marketplace and and freshening up the interiors of the trailer again six great big drawers there above you've got your LED television. That LED television actually is on a pivot arm, so you can pull it out and angle it towards your uh, trifold couch, which makes into a bed. Uh, you've got storage above there, wind, uh, mirror in behind, so really nice seating arrangement. And then across from your entertainment, you've got a massive, massive, I believe this is about 78 inches uh, U-shaped dinette. And what Grand Design does is they put on some really nice thick back cushions there. So it's like a lounge dinette. You can slide in, put your seat in the corner there, put your arm up, place to put your beverage and you know your plate of, plate of chips down or whatever. And you can sit there and comfortably watch a movie for you know a couple few hours very, very comfortably. And it's a gigantic bed as well. So if you need the extra bed here, you could literally sleep two adults there. Um, your trifold couch makes out into a double bed you could sleep a couple of smaller people there or a one big person or what have you uh, but lots of bedding and, and and places to sleep in this particular floor plan one of the things to point out on this particular layout as well is behind the dinette in the slide out and this is just kind of ties into grand design structure and quality you cannot get a bigger window in the slide out for the width okay like th this is as big a window as you can possibly get Grand Design, two things. One, they're not afraid to spend a little bit of extra money to give you that bigger window. It costs more money to do it, to frame it in. Secondly, the structure is in the sidewall to support that big window. 
Um, you cut a great big hole in the sidewall. Some manufacturers put in smaller windows just because they don't have that it all opened up and, or framed out in that aluminum. Grand Design is doing those things and really thinking of it. And because your slide box is fully laminated, you don't want flex. You don't want a ton of movement in your slide out because it's moving already. But a big window, if you have that structure there, you can put that big window in and Grand Design does. So really cool. LED lights above, it's got the fridge and the slide out, that's an eight cubic foot refrigerator, two door on this particular model. So lots of space in this, uh, In this, uh, it's a nice deep slide, about three and a half feet deep, uh, but lots of space in this, in this living area on this 285 BHTS. Again, true to form on the reflection, max fan with rain sensor, the remote on the wall behind me uh, will open and close out. If the rain sensor gets wet, um, the lid will automatically close, but that fan is fantastic. Again, for winter camping, moisture, there's moisture and propane, all of those things. If you're cooking, you wanna get the steam out of the trailer, and so that fan will accomplish that very, very easily. Again, the rear bunk room on this, what a lot of people like about this layout and the 28BH, their sister floor plans, is the bunk room is not, doesn't take up a huge amount of the trailer. And a lot of people don't necessarily want to dedicate a lot of livable area to a bunk room. So if you've got some older kids, two kids, what have you, or if you don't have any kids at all, but you just want an extra sleeping arrangement for some friends or guests, this particular layout could get it done for you. And again, like I say, you're not dedicating a pile of space to your bunk, uh, bunk room, but these are double, this is a double over double bunk bed, super big. Um, I forget the rating of the mat of, of the bed platform, but I want to say it's minimum 300 pounds. It's got the teddy bear finish on here as well. Individual lights for the bunk areas, but great big beds. So not the little singles that you typically get and you get to the step here, little drawer underneath three drawers. Actually you got four drawers right here. And then you've got a hanging wardrobe above as well so for a smaller bunk area you do get tons of storage and they give you the hooks on the wall there you could mount a, a television to the wall if you'd like as well and then the privacy is just closed off simply by a pocket door what i like about the pocket door in this layout folks is that because your slide out when it comes in fully retracts if you had a swing door here typically the bunk room door would swing into the living area and if you've got a doorknob on it if that door was to pop open and transport and you weren't paying attention when you go to slide the slide out what can happen is the slide casing can hook on that doorknob and peel your doorknob off your door off damage your door grand designs thinking they're putting a pocket door in here much much smarter uh, it straps down uh, it doesn't swing, costs a little bit more money to do that, but you're not going to have to pay to have a door replaced potentially if you know that you had a swing door on it and it was to peel off. So flip up counter extension on this as well. What I like about this, Grand Design, again, true to form, going the extra mile, the extra step, solid surface on your countertop extension. <clears throat> Just so you know, if you're looking at a Grand Design product and it doesn't have a flip up counter extension, like on the end of an island or whatever, we can order this right from Grand Design. So if you have a Grand Design product, you're looking at it, you're going, you know what, I just want a little more counter space. You love to cook and prepare meals for your family. We can get these countertop extensions right from Grand Design and mount them on the ends of islands and just a lot more flexibility and it's going to match your countertop, which is really cool. Again, before we jump up into the bathroom, Grand Design DNA item, no heat ducts in the floor, folks. On the reflections, they, like I mentioned outside, they thermally envelop each tank with an insulated blanket. Each tank has a dedicated heat duct going to it. They give an air void between the bottom of the floor and the top of the tank to allow for air circulation inside. And that 35,000 BTU furnace heats that belly of that trailer exceptionally well. They temperature tested it to minus four Fahrenheit, which is approximately, we'll call it an average of minus 19-ish uh, Celsius. And it passed the test eight hours, uh, didn't freeze in the basement, maintained room temperature inside. And that's what you get for all the reflection products, the way they've designed it. And we've optioned in, in this floor plan, thermal insulated dual pane windows as well. So they have that argon gas. So if you have a, let's say a welding truck, you have a topper on the back of your truck, you have a larger SUV, but you want something that's gonna go through colder temperatures, the Reflection is a tried, true, proven product to get you through those colder temperatures. And again, we option in those dual pane windows, which is really, really nice. So uh, we're gonna shoot up here. Uh, 
Furion DVD Bluetooth CD stereo right by the entryway. Lots of floor space as you're coming in, folks. Uh, they give you the convenience center right at your front door here. So this has the switches for your gas, electric, hot water heater, convenience center, the slide switch, the awning switch, all of those things. I just want to shoot the shoot you some extra storage here quickly. Again, true to form, shelf inside, lower cabinetry, all of those things. The headroom in this trailer is fantastic as well. Uh, that's part of the reason why you can get more storage is because the headroom in this trailer is taller. There's no cable slides in Grand Design product that can eat away the height of the trailer, the height of the slide box. Grand Design is maximizing as much as they can. Max air fan switch there as well and your furnace air conditioning switches. So motion sensor lighting as you come in the trailer. So if you have it set to motion sense, if it's night uh, dark out, you open up that door, you walk in, that light will automatically turn on. That way you're not fumbling around in the dark looking for switches. Again, pocket door for your bathroom. Lots of storage, tons of counter space. Beautiful, beautiful. Three drawers, they're not holding back. Great big vanity. You know, you've got two shelves in here. Three shelves. And again, you've got the storage behind you above the toilet with towel bar. Porcelain foot flush toilet. No heat ducts on the floor, folks. For the, you know, if your tank was to ever backflow on you. You don't have to worry about that that stuff going down the down the heat ducts and great big shower with glass door so tons and tons of headroom like if you're six foot seven you got lots of headroom in this in this shower and, and bathroom area which is cool solid door for your bedroom of course and then coming into your bedroom true to form for grand design residential size beds that's a 60 wide by 80 long queen size bed if you don't like the mattress you can go to any mattress store and get a regular queen size bed it'll fit the same dimensions without taking up any floor space um, also your fitted sheets go around it's so much nicer less chance of those fitted sheets bagging up and hanging down uh, making it much easier on in this product to access the under bed storage all plywood decking double gas struts lots of deep storage here you can put your laundry hampers down here that's what we do when we go camping put the dual laundry hampers down there and and uh, hold all the dirty clothes hanging storage on either side of the bed as well which is nice grand design they don't do a slide out in the war like a wardrobe slide in this bedroom uh, but because they have their you know kind of a, a design that they've set up with the wardrobe in the corner i'll get to that in a second as we rip over around to the other side but again led lighting here all the way across the top you do get the usb connections here above the bed so dual they give you the shelf here so you can plug in and set up you know individual mobile devices cell phones that sort of thing which is nice storage above those are nice deep deep storage compartments as well just shoot that for you that goes all the way across they lift up and they give you the two struts on either side what's nice about that some manufacturers will leave those struts off so you have one hand that has to hold the door open and then you've got one other hand to be able to pull the items out this it's a two-hand operation which is really really nice raised panel cabinet doors much much stronger i'll even show you mortise and tenon they call that a mortise and tenon joint it's not just a picture frame cut so that cabinet door is much much stronger very similar to what you get in your in your house so again big big drawers here they're the, almost the depth of that count counter to our cabinet and you get three of them as well and then uh Again, great big closet here so that juts into that bathroom there you still get that great big shower behind it but again tons and tons of storage if you're into those longer trips heading south taking the family on a big journey across Canada that type of thing uh, this will this this bunk house will will get it done for you so I know I talked a lot gave you a lot of detail uh, I probably missed a whole bunch of things as well I could talk for hours on this product and and what we do here at the dealership but we'd love to invite you down to the store here in Leduc Alberta Woody's RV world uh, we've been open for a, a year now and just really trying to do all the right things going exclusive with grand design product and uh, come on down check us out we're 15 minutes south of Edmonton getting lots of call on these videos like subscribe comment we want to come alongside you, whether we get to do business with, the, our business with you or not. If you have any questions on the product, we try to respond as quickly as we can. And uh, sometimes we have to call the factory, get some, get some answers, and we'll get back in touch with you. But um, again, Clayton Phillips here, Woody's RV World, Leduc, Alberta, Canada, doing a fly-through video on a Reflection Travel Trailer 285BHTS. And uh, give us a call, 780-986-1234. Thank you for your time. Happy camping.